Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This one's been very highly requested. So today I'm going to talk you through our CB radio setup. The first thing you need to do to do this job is remove your backlight. I've already done ours, so it's going to be nice and simple, but it is just attached with two screws around this side and then two poppers around the other. And it pops off, and then a the connector from just here, just pulls out and it's free to release. As if it's that easy. I know, it just floats out. <laughs> and then you need to remove this side boot trim doodah which just has a couple of clips that unbolt insert the fancy fancy clip just here scott <laughs> <laughs> and then it unpops with some little plastic nuggers which rover is care carefully taken care of they're all our new ones that we'll replace in due course Indeed. Some of them do break. They do break, they're horrible so, little things. So yeah, make sure you've got some spare ones on standby. Definitely. You will break some of them. Guaranteed, guaranteed. We use the Thunderpole off-roader pack, which you can buy on their website, which is great. Perfectly customizable. We use the Mini Orbiter Aerial, which is our little pink wangler. You can get that in many, many different colors, along with the, I think it's the seven inch magma, which comes as part of the pack. Once you've decided where you want to mount your aerial, ours is on the driver's side, you can trace the wire all the way down. Should sit in this little recess just here, if you can see that, all the way down. Ours is taped in with duct tape. It's not stupid if it works right. <laughs> and then we've got a drip loop just here, and then one just here. There's also one down just here, there to stop any water following the um, wire all the way down. Just makes it drip off. You're not going to get water in your boot and in all the places you don't want it to go. Then the wire is going to go through this little flapper just here. And it will come out in the inside. Let me just try and show you. It's very awkward. Where is it? I can see daylight somewhere. No, where is it? There it is. You just saw daylight vaguely. Either way, comes out in there. <laughs> it's easier to find in person, which is just behind this little other little flapper just here. And then the wire goes all the way down behind this panel, all the way down the side, just tucked in fairly tight so it doesn't get caught. All the way down to the end, just there. I need longer arms, blow me. And then it's tucked just behind here, a bit hard to try and show you, but there you go, all the way down into the middle and it goes, just goes down underneath the seats, which I'll show you in a moment. Now we're going to go from the boot of the car into the back. Next thing you need to do, you need to lift up the bases of your rear seats and it hit your elbow on the door card as well, just for good measure. <laughs> and then the wire is going to go from underneath the uh, backrest of the back seats all the way down down here and I'll just pop that back out of the way just down here ours is actually under the mat of the um, footwell excuse the grubbiness underneath the passenger seat I'll show you that in a second and then next we'll get on to our actual CB radio ours is the Thunderpole T600 treated us really well it's a great little compact cb nice and simple to use if muppets like me and scott can use it anybody can <laughs> ours is actually mounted in the passenger footwell just here rather than actually screwing it in a lot of people will screw it into the plastic but instead we've actually used some pieces of uh, dual lock tape i'll get scott to put a little picture we actually put it there just because we wanted the option that if we did actually want to remove it from the car, we could. It's like Velcro kind of tape, really. Um, yeah, but honestly, it's solid. We were a little bit like, oh, is it going to stick? Is it not? But it stayed solid and really we've put it through a test. When it comes to some of the terrain that this car's been on, it's really stood up to the test of time. But then we've got our mic just here mounted on its little mount which comes with the um, actual kit just with the little sticky pad that also comes with the kit never had that fall off either which is quite impressive for the tape 
but yes that's the actual cb radio itself the kit also comes with a speaker which we actually have stuck in the back of the car it seems absolutely fine the, some people don't always think too much of speakers that come with cb radios but it's absolutely fine for us the volume is perfect uh yeah you can hear what you need to hear you can hear what you don't need to hear sometimes as well but you know <laughs> and then there's also the option to hardwire the cb into the car but we haven't chosen to do that ours is actually just normal cigarette lighter adapter which we can just choose to plug in whenever we need to well that was our little run through of our very simple cb setup check out the thunderpole website we'll leave it in the description down below we can guarantee you'll find a cb to suit your needs on their website Hopefully you found this video, video useful. If you do have any questions, leave them in the comments down below and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.